There are more than 400,000 NCAA student athletes. NCAA on campus is their story. On this edition of On Campus, we head north to Plattsburgh, New York and Plattsburgh State University. And if we're up north this time of year, we're talking ice hockey. Teal Gove is one of the best players on one of the best teams in the country, ranked number one and undefeated through the regular season. And Teal also excels in the classroom where she's a biology major and has earned academic All-America honors. To tell us more, here's Plattsburgh hockey player Jared Docking. Welcome to the home of the Cardinals in upstate New York, just 20 miles south of the Canadian border and 60 miles from Montreal, Très Bien. Plattsburgh is an NCAA Division III school and we are one of 64 campuses to make up SUNY, the State University of New York. We have about 5,500 undergrads and among our many course offerings are a couple of unique ones. You can study about the giant country to the north in our Canadian Studies program. And you can major in an expeditionary studies program that focuses on rock and ice climbing, kayaking and skiing, in preparation for careers as mountain guides and park rangers, or in ecotourism and adventure-based counseling. And if you want to learn about ice hockey, we are your school. Our men's team has won two NCAA titles, and our women have also won two. After making it to last year's Final Four, this year's women team has been ranked number one for most of the season. They are led by senior All-American Teal Gove. Making it to the Frozen Four and losing in the semifinals in like, such a heartbreaker overtime was I think one of the hardest things, but I think it was the best thing that could have ever happened to our team. We tied it up late to make it one to one, which, you know, I'll remember that goal forever. And then I was on the ice when they scored, and you know, they, you just see the puck. I mean, it was a beautiful pass, a beautiful play to put it in the net. It certainly was a disappointment losing in that semi-final game. But for our team, I think, I think it was a great learning experience. Winning a national title is, is something that this, this program you know, strives for every year. Do we talk about it every day? No. But the girls know um, our, our team, they, they more or less set their own goals. I think once we got back from the Frozen Four, it was a completely different team. You don't understand what an honor it is and how big of a deal it is to be there until you walk into the arena, you see your name on. It's an incredible experience. It's the highlight of my hockey career by far. And I think having that experience really transitioned us into how well we're doing this year. We came back and we had the goal and also we realized what it took to get there. Every game counts, every shift counts, and you need to give it your all and never stop trying. Anything can happen against big teams. Most games are one goal games. So you can't take a shift off. Teal is not the most gifted athlete on the team, but that has not stopped her from leading the Cardinals in goals each of the past three seasons and earning All-America honors last season. Teal is just um, an extremely smart hockey player. Um, you know, I think if you were to watch our practice, you know, she's, she's not our most talented player. Uh, she's not our fastest skater. She doesn't shoot the puck the hardest. Um, she doesn't have the best hands, but, but she's good at everything and she's extremely smart and she wants to score goals. She wants to make a difference every time she's on the ice, and, and, and she does. I think I'm an offensive player. I think I play my best down low and with making plays around the net. Teal's really uh, smart on the ice. I mean, she definitely sees the ice better than anyone that I've ever played with or played against. She just really knows where to be on the ice, and um, you know, she's great at protecting the puck and slipping checks and, and that type of thing. So she just really has a, a good sense of the game. And, and where to be at all times. Watching her on the ice, you can always tell she's like three steps ahead of everyone, like with playmaking and like where the puck's gonna be. And she's like hardworking all the time. Like she'll be out there, she'll be the last person coming off the ice after shooting a bunch of pucks. I try and do my best at everything I can. I, do, I don't see the point in doing something if you're not gonna do it to be the best that you can be. So I think I just try to work as hard as I can. That hard work extends into the classroom where Teal has a 3.82 GPA as a biology major and was named to the Capital One COSIDA Academic All-America team. She'll be back home in Canada at McGill University next year studying for her master's in kinesiology. I love science. I love how science is always changing. Every day scientists are discovering something new. And I love how science has the answers for what's wrong in the world and I want, I want to be part of that. I'm currently doing research with the ACE gene, which has been associated with sports excellence. 
So on this gene, there can be an insertion or a deletion. An insertion has commonly been found in endurance athletes, whereas a deletion has been more common in high intensity anaerobic sports like hockey. So what's Teal doing is she's getting DNA samples from the men's hockey team, her own hockey team, plus we have a control group and she's been analyzing their DNA to see if that ACE gene, what variation of that ACE gene is present within the women's hockey team. This is just one sample. As you can see here, each band is a different individual, so that's an individual DNA sample. And right here, here and here, where there's no light right there, that indicates a deletion. So it, it's showing that out of eight of the samples, three of the male hockey players have that deletion. Teal Gove understands herself pretty well, and her teammates love Teal being Teal. I guess I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. It's Teal. I don't know how else to describe it besides it's Teal. She's always dressed to the nines, always like prepared for the exam, always, you know, ready for a workout. I mean, it's Teal. Not only is she a great player, but she's a great person. She sets the culture in terms of work ethic on and off the ice. She's just a great leader and role model for our team. The NCAA playoffs may come with an extra challenge for Teal. There's a potential meeting in the semifinals of the Frozen Four between the Gov girls, Teal and her younger sister Tyne, a sophomore on the Norwich team. They've played twice in two years, and the record... Not that good. <laughs> we had two overtime losses last year, one tie this year, and then a win. Playing against my sister is different. It was very nerve-wracking. I think it's more so for my mom than for us. But actually, once the game started, it didn't, I didn't even notice her on the ice. It was like any other game. And we know at the end of the game, we're, we're sisters forever. She's my best friend. And it, do, it doesn't matter what happens on the ice. We're there for each other no matter what. Her college hockey career will end in a couple of weeks, but Teal Gove has left an enduring legacy at Plattsburgh. And she takes away unforgettable memories. I love to win, which is why Plattsburgh is the perfect fit. But I also love the team. My best friends are all the girls on the team, all the girls I play with. So it, it really is, it's your second family. Plattsburgh is the classic college town. We have great media coverage. We have incredible fan support. And you, you really feel like you're part of the community and you're not just a student attending university. I will easily consider Plattsburgh my home. Good luck to Teal and her Plattsburgh teammates and to all the schools hoping to make it to the Division III Frozen Four, March 15th and 16th in Superior, Wisconsin. You can follow all the action at NCAA.com. And thank you for watching NCAA On Campus.